This right here is a CFO great financial dashboard built entirely in Power BI. Live profit and loss, cash flow trends, margins, burn rate and automated email reports all on one screen. No Excel chaos, no manual updates, no financial fog. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to build this step by step from scratch. We will start with raw accounting data and walk through connecting your data source either from Excel, SQL or ERP, writing smart DAX formulas for net profit, gross margin and cash flow, creating KPI visuals that executes love and formatting it into a clean modern dashboard for real time financial storytelling. If you are a CFO, startup founder, or even just tired of missing spreadsheets, this is a chance to level up. Let's get started by understanding the data set and the business's questions behind it. Before we start building, let's quickly understand the business context and the data behind this dashboard. This CFO dashboard is designed for small to mid-sized businesses, especially those in SaaS services or retail. It helps track three major financial areas profit and loss, cash flow, monthly variance and trends. Now let's look at the data set we are using. It's a mock financial data set but closely modeled on real business use cases. Here's what we have got. Transaction table with the date category and charts of account table defining account names and type, date table, a full calendar table for time intelligence, Cash flow mapping table used to classify transactions as operating, investing or financial activities. We will be using relationships and DAX to calculate net profit, gross margin, burn rate, cash flow, profit variance which is MOM. You don't need to be an accountant to follow along. Everything will be built visually and explained clearly step by step. Let's head to Power BI and start setting up our model. Alright, now let's move to Power BI and set up our data model. This is a one-time setup that makes your dashboard dynamic and intelligent. We will load all four tables, transaction, chart of accounts, date and cash flow mapping. These all are clean structured Excel sheets that mimic real world accounting systems. Now let's go into the model view. We will connect the tables where the account column under the transaction table is connecting with the chart of accounts under the account column and the date column in the transactions table is connecting with the date column in the date table and the account column in the transaction table is getting mapped with the cash flow mapping table with the account column. Make sure auto date and time is turned off in Power BI settings. Validate the relationships where we use the manage relationship window to ensure the cardinality is correct. Cross filter direction should generally be single. Now our data model is ready and we are set up for DAX measures. Coming up next, we will design the layout and start building the visual layout. So now that our model is ready, let's design the layout of our particular dashboard. This layout will focus on clarity, executive reliability, readability and storytelling. Create a new page and rename it as CFO dashboard and create the canvas size to 16 is to 9 for a wider screen layout. So step one, add a header section. We use a text box to add a title CFO financial overview. Add a date slicer from date table aligned to the top right. Include company logo or report branding in the left corner if required. In the step two, create the KPI card rows with net profit, gross margin, burn rate and cash flow total. In the step three, we add the trend visuals with a bar chart, monthly profit or loss comparison, with a line chart, cash flow trend over time, and the stacked bar chart, cash inflows versus outflow. In the step four, add a slicer panel to the top right with the date range or business unit or a category. 
layout tips use consistent colors green for positive and red for negative align the visuals using grid lines for cleaner design keep padding and spacing even across the visuals once the layout is ready we will move into writing the dax measures for each kpi now let's write the dax measures that power this cfo dashboard these formulas will calculate real time financial kpis directly from your transactional data in the step 1 we will calculate the net profit with calculate sum of transactions amount chart of accounts table account type column in we will be choosing revenue minus calculate sum of transactions amount column again account type in cogs comma opex those are the types under the net profit where we get the net profit here as 600k so in a step 2 we calculate the gross margin percentage where we divide the gross profit with the revenue and to calculate gross profit we have revenue minus cogs and we have the revenue as calculate sum of amount column comma amount account which is revenue that's where we get gross revenue and under the gross margin we calculate gross profit comma revenue in step 3 we calculate the burn rate with the monthly average so here we are using average x of values date month column we calculate it with some amount sum of amount column with treat as opex under the chart of accounts table we are choosing the column called account type so here we will get the burn rate now in the step 4 we will go and calculate cash flow by category so here we have the calculate sum of amount column user relationship we are choosing the dax function so account column from transaction table with the account column in the cash flow mapping table that's where we go with the cash flow as value as 200k in step 5 we will go and calculate the profit mom month over month percent so where we divide the net profit minus calculate of net profit we are writing the dax function date add date column minus 1 month that's the interval calculate net profit comma date add we are adding the date add dax function so date column minus 1 month so that's where we go with the profit mom now place these measures into these visuals use tool tips to show formulas or values keep formatting consistent especially for percentage and currency measures now that all the visuals and measures are in place let's bring this dashboard to life with real time interactivity and what if analysis so interactivity with slicers use the date range slicer to view monthly and quarterly performance apply a business unit slicer to filter profit and loss and cash flow per department add a category slicer with revenue cogs opex to deep dive into cost structure drill through to detail pages we can even add a button with uh, insert buttons we can add a blank button with view details to create a drill through page for profit and loss breakdown on the drill through page we show the table visual by account and variance bars now what if analysis for budget forecasting we can create a what if parameter with monthly growth percentage so we use a particular measure here we go with the new measure and it is forecasted revenue forecasted revenue equal to revenue measure that we have calculated multiply by minus multiply by 1 plus revenue growth parameter that we choose 1 plus revenue growth parameter with the revenue growth value show the projected profit and loss based on user selected growth rate 
these interactivity features lets design makers simulate scenarios ask better questions and make faster sales let's wrap up with a quick summary where to go next great job you have now built a complete cfo dashboard in a power bi that tracks net profit cross margin and burn rate visualizes cash flow trends and breakdowns offers real time slicers and what if forecasting this is the kind of report that saves time increases decision confidence and builds trust with the stakeholders recap of what you built a structured data model using transactions account and time executive visuals with kpi cards trends and cash flow breakdowns smart dax formulas that power every insight export and share options use publish to web for secure cloud sharing schedule email delivery to cfos using power bi service export pdf snapshots for board meetings bonus tips with the mobile layout don't forget to create a mobile view so cfos can check kpis on the go thank you for watching if you found this helpful and please drop a like and comment what dashboard you want next Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.